Hey, what's up guys? This is Jay-Z here, back with another Outriders build video for you all today. This is my new Technomancer build, and in this build we'll be going over how we can prop almost 6 status elements on the enemies at once. So let's get right into it. So, the basis of this build is to proc as many elements on the enemies as you can. There are about 8 total status effects you have available to use in the game. These are Toxic, Bleed, Burn, Freeze, Ash, Slow, Vulnerable and Weakness. And this will allow you to get at least 6 of them on the enemies. The 3 main elements will be Toxic, Vulnerable and Freeze. And the other 3 can be anything that you choose. So now let's go over the mods that you will require for this build to work. The first mod I suggest you go for is Bone Shrapnel. This will give you bleed effect on the enemies for every kill shot that you get. Or you could go for this one. I'm not even going to try and pronounce it but this one. The one that will proc Ash on every kill that you get. Both of these two mods have great crowd control abilities. Those two are your main crowd control mods. After that you can take any one of these status effect mods that can proc every few seconds. Or if you have the tier 3 version of them, it will be even better. But any one is fine. That's all you require for the weapon mods, so now let's look at the armor mods. For the armor mods, this is by far one of the most important mods you have. This turret actually gives you a lot of good crowd control abilities. And since it has a very small cooldown, you can throw it down as many times as you can. As you can see in this video here, quite a high priest to multiple enemies at once. So you can get out of sticky situations nice and easily. The next mod you will need is this, the Toxic Lead. This will allow you to keep your Belighted Rounds up all the time. Those are only the important ones that you need. Then you can use any one of these mods. Some of these mods have tier 3 versions of them, so if you have those, use those. The two mods that you will need to survive a little bit is these two. The skills that we will be using is the Belighted Turret, the Belighted Rounds and the Cold Snap. The Cold Snap will allow us to get a little bit more cow control. The Belighted Turret works really great as we will be inflicting freeze every time and it only has a 6 second cooldown. So throw it down as much as you can. So this is a look at our skill tree. We will be going mostly all into the pistol and skill line. The main basic is, is whenever you activate Decay, you will get extra weapon damage. So every time you throw down the turret, you will get extra weapon damage. As well as getting assault rifle damage, assault rifle damage, and extra magazine size, which will help you as well. Also, every time you apply Toxic, you will also apply Vulnerable. After that, we just get a little bit into our Anomaly Power and get a little bit of Resistance Piercing. So that's it for the build guys, this is not some crazy damage build where you will hit 1 million damage every time, this is just a fun build. This build will allow you to do tier 14 every time, and you can do challenge tier 15 as well, but don't expect to get gold with this. I'll be making some unique and fun builds for this game, not just damage builds, but some really fun ones as well. So be sure to check out my channel for more Outriders videos.